Hey everybody, thanks for tuning into the video. Uh, today we're, it is draft day, and I'm going to go over uh, my final mock draft. Um, I think this is going to be very close to what the Giants do tonight in the draft. Um, I will be uh, broadcasting that. I have to figure out where I'm going to set it up, all that other happy horse crap. Um, but I will be live for the first round of the draft tonight. Um, so let's get right into it. Uh, last year, uh, Daniel Jeremiah, uh, NFL Network, I want to say he is, um, covers the Giants. He went out on a limb, so people thought, and said that the Giants were going to draft Daniel Jones. And sure as shit, the Giants drafted Daniel Jones. Everybody hated it. I hated it. I remember sitting on my coach, couch saying, you better not effing draft him. You better not draft Daniel Jones. And then they drafted him. He'll be fine, though. I, I, like, I love Daniel Jones now. Um, this year, he has come out and said that uh, all the rumors, everything he's heard, that the Giants are, are in love with Jedrick Wills out of Alabama, the, the tackle. Uh, he is 6'4", 312 pounds. Um, and they have him graded as a automatic starter. Um, I know we still have Nate Solder on the uh, as a left tackle. Um, he could pot potentially shift to right tackle if they do draft Wills. Um, he's a little undersized for a left tackle, but he is so powerful. He knows where to place his hands correctly. Um, so th that's where I see them going for their first pick is tackle. If if I would prefer, see I. I what I did is I did a trade with the Chargers to get a second, second round pick. Um, everybody wants the Giants. Oh, they got to replace that third. Get a second, bro. So I got a second. Uh, traded with the Chargers. Got their second. And I think like a, a later round pick, like a fourth or a fifth. So with our second in um, uh, this draft, I picked up out of Michigan, Josh Uche. He is a defensive and outside linebacker. Uh, he did not run the 40, um, but if you watch the video on him, he reminds me of, he's he's a smaller defensive end if he's going to play end. He, uh, I would, in the Giants, he's gonna play defense. Uh, he'll play outside linebacker. He's really, really quick though. Very fast hands, uh, nose for the ball. Um, Everything that I watched, he was always either in the backfield or going to where the ball is. So he, he can, he's very good range side to side. Um, he's 6'1", 245. Um, again, he did not run the 40. Um, his bench press was 18 reps. So in the second round, I think that was a good pickup. All like the, um, all the r good defensive ends were gone. Um, Queen was there. I don't see Queen being there at um, the fourth pick in the second round. If he's there, the Giants have to pick up him up from LSU. That would be great. But I don't see him being there, so that's why I went with Josh Uche, because I, I, I could see him being there. Now, the next guy I went with, with the pick that we got from the Chargers, and I believe the Chargers picked up Justin Herbert, was uh, Chase Claypool, uh, wide receiver out of Notre Dame. He's 6'4", 238, and he ran a 4-4-2, 4-4-2-40. Just a big, big wide receiver. Now, I've said this, excuse me, I'm sorry, I got hair in my hat. Um, I've said, I've been saying this for a while now. Golden Tate is not the answer on the outside. If we keep Evan Ingram, he is not the answer on the outside. I like Darius Slayton on the outside, and I think if you match Chase Claypool up with him, um, in a four-wide set, having Chase Claypool, Darius Slayton, uh, Golden Tate, and Sterling Shepard, that could be really, really good. And Chase Claypool, he's a big wide receiver. The Giants, I mean, Eli proved. Uh, Eli was great. But with Daniel Jones' uh, mobility, and he can throw the ball in a dot. So that's who I went with. I went with Chase Claypool with that a wide receiver. Um, could have went interior offensive line, but that's what I went with in the third round. I went with Sean Pollard out of Clemson. 
Um, he played guard and he played center. Um, now, guard I think we're good with, with Hernandez and Zeitler. Um, right tackle, um, I think Cameron Jordan could be good. And if Wills is there on the left, um, even Solder could maybe go to the right. Um, he's going to be a... a He's not going to be a an immediate starter. He he could be if Mark Colombo, the new offensive lineman, um, can mold him a little bit. Uh, Colombo was a was a really good offensive lineman for the Cowboys and other teams, and he was a good coach for the Cowboys. So, um, but I see him as being a um, a project. Um, but I think with the right coaching, um, he could be the center for the future. And the Giants need um for offensive line. They need left and right tackle, and they need center. Um, and maybe Cameron Jordan, Fleming, I'm sorry, Cameron Fle Fleming can be the answer at right tackle, um, Wills at left, and then him uh, for our center for the future. So that's just that's what I think the Giants are going to do. Um, everybody wants to see the big splash. They want to see maybe uh, Ngakwe traded to the, 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 to the Giants. Um, I think they need to be smart. I do think they need to trade back, uh, to get more draft capital. There's a very deep draft, so we'll see you tonight, guys. Uh, tune in. I will be live, um, so we can see exactly everything that goes on, what we've been waiting for. Uh, with all stupid virus that's going around, there's been no sports, so I think this is probably going to be the most televised watched draft that has ever been uh, in existence. So. Uh, if you could just uh, hit that uh, like button, uh, leave a comment below, let me know what you think, and subscribe to my channel. That would be great. Thanks everybody for watching.